The volume of fluid given is primarily based on three parameters. The patient's heart rate, their blood pressure, and their urine output. In broad terms, a decreased urine output indicates at least 500 millilitres of fluid depletion. Decreased urine output plus tachycardia indicates at least one litre of fluid depletion. And a shocked patient is at least two litres deplete. To determine the rate of administration, if the patient is tachycardic or hypertensive, it's sensible to start with 250 ml as a fluid bolus, repeating as necessary according to the patient's response. If the patient is oligouric, with no evidence of a post-renal obstructive cause, then one to two litres should be given over two to four hours. Though the patient would need to be carefully monitored for evidence of fluid overload. As a firm rule, you should never prescribe more than two litres of fluid without a clinical review. Nice guidelines for maintenance fluid requirements are 25 to 30 mils per kilogram per day of fluid, one millimole per kilogram per day of sodium, potassium and chloride, and 50 to 100 grams per day of glucose. In total, most adults therefore typically require three litres of fluid every 24 hours, while the elderly require around two litres. The traditional regime is often referred to as one salty and two sweet. This would constitute one bag of saline and two of dextrose. Patients are also in need of roughly 40 millimoles of potassium per day. Therefore, 20 millimoles of potassium should be added to each of the bags. This IV potassium should never be given at a rate faster than 10 millimoles per hour. Using pre-made bags of fluid with potassium is preferable to adding potassium to bags of fluid due to the risk of inadvertent drug preparation errors. This regime will require three liters of water, 154 millimoles of sodium, and 60 millimoles of potassium to be given to the patient. Note that this provides about 0.5 liters more water and more sodium as well than the minimum requirements for an average patient.